Welcome into another video. This time we're going over our way too early top 10 running backs for 2024. Now remember, these things are going to fluctuate all over the place. Who knows what's going to happen between free agency, the NFL draft, and everything else in between. But right now, we just kind of set us up a little template here to kind of go and see where we're going to at least have a starting point for 2024. Let's jump right in here. Number 10, we're talking about Kenneth Walker. Who knows what's going to happen with this offense now that Pete Carroll's now out of, out of town with the, as a head coach. Will Charbonnet be the kind of backup type of guy, or will he be a 1A, 1B type of player? Who knows? Kenneth Walker ended up with over 900 yards uh, rushing, even missing some games due to uh, injury early on in the season. Didn't really have the bell cow role that we were used to. But towards the end of the season, we really started seeing Kenneth Walker become the guy for the Seattle Seahawks, with Charbonnet taking more of a step back. So does that continue? We're not too sure, but we'll have to just see uh, how it goes or where it goes with the new regime coming in here. There's still a lot of weapons on that Seattle offense but I have Kenneth Walker as of right now as my number 10 running back headed into 2024. Going to number nine, talking about Isaiah Pacheco here for the Kansas City Chiefs. I really like what I'm seeing from this guy. He's a young running back who's really clearly took over that 1A type of role for this offense. Clyde edwards alaire has been kicked to the curb. This guy's running like a, a madman out there. Every time he's getting the ball, you see this dude. He's chunking, he's running, he's got the head bob, and he's ready to truck somebody. I love watching this guy run. Ends up having over 900 yards rushing, missed some games due to concussion protocols and such like that. But I think he would have easily had over 1,000 yards rushing if he didn't miss those opportunities. I think in 2024, we do see Pacheco in the thousand yard rushing mark. He's a young running back that I'm excited to see next season. And I think he's gonna be a phenomenal, easily at number nine for me. Move right along at number eight here. We're talking about Saquon Barkley over here with the, uh, with the Giants. I think if they get an upgrade at quarterback, we're looking at probably one of these quarterbacks, whether it's Caleb Williams, Drake May, uh, Jaden Daniels, one of these guys are gonna come in and be the quarterback for this football team. Is that quarterback going to succeed early on? That's going to depend on how much Saquon Barkley can take the workload off of these quarterbacks. If we see a nice successful kind of transition like we did, like, like CJ Stroud did today or this year, I think that you're going to see Saquon Barkley definitely a top tier running back. He's got the skills, got the ability. Saquon Barkley is a free agent, but he has expressed the interest of being back with the Giants. The numbers just have to be right. I think the Giants end up getting a deal done for Saquon Barkley. He's back with the Giants. He's going to be a rookie quarterback, and I think he's going to play phenomenal in 2024. Coming here at uh, number seven, we're talking about Rashad White, the running back out of the Bucks. Really like to see what he's doing. The Buccaneers give him the ball. There's nobody else in this offense who gets any carries. Maybe one, maybe two carries in a game. Other than that, it's all going Rashad White. And because he's having so much volume, we love the word volume when it comes to fantasy football. That just produces points just automatically, right? So He's a young running back that we like to see. He's getting a lot of volume. He's going to produce for you. So Rashad White, definitely a clear, uh, nice opportunity or, or asset for you in fantasy football. Get this guy onto your uh, onto your team. I like him going into 2024. Let's move right along here. Number six, Travis Etienne Jr. coming here. Now, I know a lot of people were concerned when you talk about you know, uh, Auburn and, and Tank Bigsby coming in, taking a lot, vulturing a lot of these touchdowns away from Travis Etienne. Will he be less of a running back? No, it actually didn't be the case that Tank Bigsby took any workload. It's still Travis Etienne's backfield, and I think that in 2024 he's going to still provide that. As long as Trevor Lawrence can stay healthy and this offense in total starts to flourish a little bit more, Calvin Ridley needs to be a little bit better. Maybe he comes back in free agency. Uh, he should be back with the team, I'm assuming. But if all the pieces come back and into, into place, Travis Etienne could be a dominant for us yet again in fantasy football could be a nice top option for you to have on your football team uh coming right here number five we're talking about jonathan taylor uh from the colts i can't wait to see what happens when anthony richardson comes back here and he can continue to develop we saw a couple games of anthony richardson early on before he ended up getting hurt he just has a gruesome gruesome running style that probably is going to get him hurt more uh, more times than not until he learns how to run out of bounds or slide properly but I think we're going to get a lot of nice little RPOs when we're talking about who they're going to cover. Are they going to be guarding Anthony Richardson or are they going to take uh, Jonathan Taylor on the RPO? We don't know, but I think this is going to develop into a nice opportunity for Jonathan Taylor. That's why I got him definitely easily in my top five running backs heading into 2024. Let's head over here at number four. We're talking about Jameer Gibbs. I do think he's going to end up taking that role over from David Montgomery. I think Montgomery is going to start taking a little bit more of a backseat. We really started seeing Jameer Gibbs really start playing a larger and larger role and it all 
started when Montgomery first got injured in 2023 and Jameer Gibbs was given the reins and he's shown that, hey, I can be a great running back in the NFL. And then when Montgomery came back, Montgomery still got all the bulk of the carries, but we saw Jameer Gibbs becoming a more of involved into the offense. I think 2024, they start slowly giving the reins back to uh, Gibbs. Uh, and I think closer to 2025, he may be the lone workhorse type of guy. So. That's what I'm giving, but even though I think they're going to be easing him back a little bit more into 2024, I still think Gibbs is going to be a top option for you. That's why it lands him at number four uh, for me. Coming at number three here, talking about Brees Hall for the New York Jets, and I think having Aaron Rodgers back in the building is going to open up a lot more running or uh, running holes for this guy. He already did phenomenal with the cockadoo he had in the backfield. They have a good offensive line. I think Garrett Wilson is going to start getting happy now that he's got a quarterback that can throw him the football. And I think Brees Hall now he's got Dalvin Cook out of the way. None of that stuff going to be bothered him now it is definitely Brees Hall's team once again and I think he's going to prove that that they made a good decision on that I like Brees Hall for 2024 going over number two right now Kyron Williams a phenomenal running back over a thousand yards rushing uh, as a rookie and I think he's going to continue to do so with him we talked about that with Rashad White just a minute ago same thing with Kyron Williams he gets volume for this team it's a good enough offensive line to make a lot of holes for Kyron Williams his running style is good he's got good low gravity so his contact balance is very very nice I like to watch Kyron Williams run the football and again well, I say all the time, volume equals fantasy points, and that's what you're getting out of Kyron Williams. Love him as number two. And do I need to say any more with Christian McCaffrey as number one? Over 1,000 yards rushing yet again. He had over 500 yards receiving. The dude's absolutely phenomenal. Had 21 total touchdowns on the season, and it was actually a low season for him for catching the football. I think 2024 could be even better for him receiving the ball. And if he does, I mean, the gap between him and number two is going to be so huge, it's not even close. He just has to stay out of injury problems. So if he can stay out of injury problems, it's Christian McCaffrey easily as number one on my list. And it should be number one on everybody's list. So that does it for the, my top 10 way too early running backs. Again, remember, it's going to be fluctuating a lot. But hit the like button. Really helps the channel out. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, we're pumping out multiple videos each and every week throughout the entire offseason, leading you up into the 2024 season. Guys, can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.